Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Sinus. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like the video. Today, we're going to be talking about this thing, the Random Frank P Novel Keys keyboard. Back in late October of 2020, Random Frank P, who's known for his tech videos and his keyboard style videos, he went ahead and released a video of him announcing his collaboration with Novel Keys, the place where you go and get all things keyboard related. You get your lube, you get your keycaps, you get your actual PCBs, things like that. They announced together that they would be doing a collaboration keyboard known as the Random Frank P NK65 keyboard. This is the NK65 Entry Edition keyboard. It is not Bloomin, which is what Random Frank P specified when he made this video or made his own video about this. It is a 65% layout keyboard. I'm pretty new to the whole scene of custom keyboards, but this was pre-built. I guess that's how Frank uh, wanted to actually do it. This came in two different styles, two different switches that you can actually pick from. One of them is the Silk Yellows or the Box Jades. They were renamed to Silk Emeralds and then Midnight Jades. Those are the two different styles that they had. I went with the Silks because I'm not really more of a tactile kind of keyboard user. I wanted to get something that was a little bit smoother and something that was a little bit quieter because I'm not into, you know, clacking away on keyboards. And I already type loud enough as it is. I've, I've been told that my whole life. So I wanted to get something a little bit quieter, but something that I thought would be really cool and not as insanely loud to type on. The PCB is hot swap, meaning that you can take out the switches without having to desolder the switches themselves from the board, which is really helpful when you're just starting out building keyboards. If you don't really have that kind of experience, then it's better just to have them be able to pop out instead of having to use a tool and, you know, use heat and, you know, desolder things like that. The PCB is VIA compatible, meaning that it connects with the software called VIA, which is really useful in terms of uh, getting your switches being able to be read and using RGB and setting those things and those parameters in there. And you can customize your layout because that's sort of what this whole thing is about. The switches are south facing, meaning that the RGB won't show through. Uh, these are good for cherry switches. Just know that there won't be as much light bleed as normally you would get from other types of keyboards. However, in my experience using this keyboard, the RGB is pretty bright in this, so you won't have an issue there. The case itself is translucent green. That's what uh, I already said that. The bottom of the case has a UV printed topographic pattern which is very similar to the desk mat that I have. It sort of matches in that style and it also matches with the custom space bar. It was able to connect all the pieces together if you were to go that route. The desk mat was also sold by Novel Keys and so I was able to pick that up when it was available. They might have more runs later on, I'm not too sure, but that's there if you're looking to do it. The keyboard itself comes with a random Frank P escape key as well as a normal escape key and it comes with a white space bar already installed as well as the custom top graphic space bar that I mentioned previously. The keyboard also comes in a case uh, labeled uh, Novel Keys. You can see that here. The case has this nice logo on it. It's built pretty sturdy and it's able to house all kinds of loose items and things that you would find in the case. The keyboard also comes with a black USB coil cable, which I swapped out with the Ducky cable. I personally like the color scheme on this. Uh, it had a very nice blue and purple scheme to it, which I, you know, really dug. And I just thought it would be cool and you can identify the purple. The blue matches with the keyboard quite nicely. The keycaps are a Dysub PBT in a cherry profile. It's a modified top mount, so the plate screws into the top of the case, the PCB screws into the plate, and the plate screws into the bottom case. The design allows for no visible screws once assembled. There's also a dampening pad on the bottom, which dampens a lot of the pinging noise, which you would normally hear from a case that doesn't have that. The keyboard has an eight degree angle, which I found kind of jarring at first, but as you go along with it and you start to use it more, for me personally, I really enjoy that slope. In my personal opinion, coming from a Red Dragon $50 keyboard that I purchased, this feels premium. It feels heavy. There's a definite heft to it, which I was personally unprepared for because I saw that it was polycarbonate. So I thought, oh, it's gonna be pretty light. No, this thing can kill a man. <laughs> it can kill a lot of men if you throw it hard enough at them. This thing looks beautiful. The design on the back is amazing. The keycaps themselves are stunning. I love the topographical space bar. The swapping is pretty easy. I was able to swap out the escape key with my own personal Etsy customized escape key, which I just found for like 20 bucks. Uh, it took about a month to ship, but 
it was really nice. I really liked the design. It's kind of like a, a mountainscape that has like a lot of smoke around it. Very pretty. I do enjoy it very much. The one thing that some purists might not enjoy about this keyboard is the fact that the stabilizers on there are still a little rattly. You need to go in there and clip the stabilizers. You need to lube the stabilizers. It already comes pre-lubed. You wanna lube the stabilizers as you see fit. Some people have used the Band-Aid method that I've seen. However, if you don't go ahead and customize it and just use it out of the box, you will notice that things like the space bar or the shift key might have a little bit of a rattle to it. But if that doesn't bother you, it doesn't bother me too much, then you're gonna be very happy with the way that the entire keyboard feels and sounds. However, if you wanna go that route, this is a custom keyboard, you can go ahead and do that yourself. That's the fun of having a custom keyboard. Board. All right, and so uh, without further ado, the main thing that people tend to gravitate towards, how does this thing sound? We're gonna have two different types of sound tests. One is gonna be just me pressing on the keys just randomly, and then another one is gonna be me doing a typing test. So let's go ahead and roll that footage. And there you go. Uh, this keyboard is amazing. I really dig it. I'm very new to this whole space, so please forgive me if I made any mistakes along the way. And purists, please don't kill me in my sleep. I really do appreciate living, so thank you all so much um, for letting me live this one next day. Uh, thank you so much uh, for watching this video. Uh, if you did enjoy it, go ahead and please subscribe to the channel. Please go ahead and like this video if you liked it. I'm just trying to get my foot in this door. <laughs> Uh, this YouTube door. So please go ahead and do all those things if you really enjoyed this video. Thank you so much and have a good rest of your day. Peace out peeps.